Previously in the core difference video, we've seen that the RX CPU core is a new revolutionary class leading processor core offering 165 DMIPS at 100 megahertz and having built in capabilities for floating point operations and digital signal processing. But what good is all that CPU performance if you can't move data around efficiently? Fortunately for embedded developers, the RX 600 microcontroller was designed with a holistic system level vision. Let's take a look at the system interfacing capabilities of the RX 600. The RX 600 uses an enhanced Harvard architecture to connect to internal 100 MHz flash and internal 100 MHz SRAM. There is also a 32-bit external bus connection through the main bus 1, and there is even an external DMA controller that can act as a bus master for the external bus, greatly offloading the CPU. In addition to main bus 1, there is also a second main bus 2 and six peripheral buses. To help move data around independently, there are three more bus masters, the DTC, the DMA, and the Ethernet DMA. Many modern microcontrollers integrate a direct memory access controller, which is commonly referred to as a DMA. In addition to a DMA, the RX600 also integrates a data transfer controller, or DTC. How are they different? The DMA uses dedicated registers for each of its four channels, and that results in a fast one-cycle performance, whereas the DTC uses data tables and memory and can have unlimited virtual channels, and these channels can be chained, meaning that one event can trigger multiple actions. This gives the DTC powerful and flexible event system capabilities. In other words, the DMA can be used to offload the CPU from high-speed data movement, whereas the DTC can be used to offload the CPU from multiple and frequently triggered interrupts. Now let's take a look at an example of how the RX 600's holistic system interfaces can be used to address high throughput application needs. Here you see that the CPU can fetch instructions from flash memory, while at the same time the CPU is writing to the USB interface to transmit USB data. And at the same time, the Ethernet DMA controller is moving data packets out on the Ethernet bus from SRAM. Also at the same time, the external DMA controller is moving RGB data from an external SRAM to a color TFT LCD panel. Notice that all four of these transfers are happening at the same time, each on separate physical buses and with no interference to each other. But wait, it's still possible to move even more data. The blue arrow shows that the DMA can be used to move data from a peripheral like the ADC into SRAM by arbitrating access of the SRAM with the Ethernet DMA controller. There is still plenty of bandwidth on main bus 2 because it's 32 bits wide and operates at 50 MHz. This interleaved access of SRAM has very little impact on either the Ethernet or the ADC transfers. And finally, the yellow arrow shows how the DTC can move data from a timer over to a DAC output by using peripheral buses. Again, there is minor arbitration needed on the peripheral bus, but the bandwidth is more than sufficient to minimize interference. So in the end, here are four completely independent high-speed transfers occurring, plus two more interleave transfers, showing the use of all five bus masters in the chip. The RX 600's vast system interfacing capabilities ensure that data can be moved around efficiently, enabling the high system throughput required in today's applications. Mm -hmm.